Hey guys, today I'm going to be running you through a small beginner Python project where we build a script that uses a public API to capture cryptocurrency data and then write it out to a CSV. And we're going to be doing this all within about five minutes, so let's go. Alright, so first off, I've got an empty folder open here in Visual Studio Code. And I'm just going to create a new uh, Python folder, a Python file. So I'll just call this crypto.py. And all we're going to want for this is just to import the request module and import the CSV module. Okay, now quickly we're just gonna jump onto a web browser to find a public API that we can use for cryptocurrencies. And if you go to Google and just search up public API, you can find one over here. And you scroll down to cryptocurrency. And the one we wanna be using today is CoinCap. Cool. So we'll open up CoinCap and then we're just gonna get the RESTful API documentation and we just want to take this endpoint right here. And now we can say URL equals HTTP, just like that. All right, so now all we want to do is just set the headers for our request to accept uh, JSON. All right, so now we've got everything we need to actually build our request. So we can say response equals request dot request. And oops, we want to do a get on the URL passing in the headers, equal to headers. And we don't have a payload, but we need to actually specify this parameter. I'll just do an empty payload, so just like that. And now I'll say my JSON equals response.json. And now we'll just print this out. We open up the terminal, crypto.py. Uh, what happened there? Did I not spell that right? Ah, oh, whoops, sorry. Pi crypto dot pi. And that is all our data right there. All right, sweet. So now we have all our data. All we need to do is basically put this into an array and then write it out. So what we're going to do is just initialize the empty array first. So I'll say our data equals empty array. All right, now if I get up the coin cap documentation, just to view an example response, which is basically what we're getting already anyway. Uh, we can see here that we're getting an object which has an array called data which contains an array of objects which has all our cryptocurrency data. Now all I'm really interested in is the symbol, the name, and we'll get the price as well. So just bearing that in mind. All right, so now we can go for x in my JSON, reference that data array. And now basically for each object within the response, we're going to build an array and then append that to our, our data array. So first off, we'll capture the, the symbol and then the name for this object and then also the price as I mentioned before. All right, so just X and then price USD. And now we can just append this to our, our data. And we just quickly check that out. So we'll just use a quick print statement and now we can go to back to our terminal. I'll just clear this out actually. And then we can type in pi crypto-pi. And then we can see now we've actually got our, our data. So we've got a bunch of arrays within our, our data array. All right, cool. So now what we really need to do is just write this out now uh, into a CSV. So we'll say open and then the file name, which we'll call crypto.csv. And make sure we open this up in write mode. And the encoding would be a UTF-8, which is pretty standard. And for the new lines, we're just doing a uh, just, just open and close quote. And we'll just save this object as F. So now we'll just say writer equals csv.writer F. And now we can do, now we have, now we have to write out our, our header, but we haven't actually got one yet. We'll just write this out for now. So we'll say writer.write row csv header. And then writer.write rows our data. Sweet. Okay, so now we'll actually create this, the header which is gonna be in the CSV. So we'll say CSV header equals uh, an array which has got symbol, and then we'll do name, and then we'll do uh, price USD as well again. And that is pretty much literally it. So I'll just quickly put a little print done down here. And now we should be able to just run it again. So if we do pi crypto pi, 
Sweet, so now we can see our CSV file has been generated. We can actually open this up within VS Studio Code. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and open this up in my file explorer so I can uh, just pull it over and you can actually see the CSV itself. So now we can see all our cryptocurrency data is here and ready for us to read it in a nice format or send it off to whoever. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on videos just like this.